In this video, I will show you how to BIOS mod your RX 570, 470, 480, or 580 GPU using the Player's BIOS editor. Please note, there is risk when flashing your VBIOS, you risk bricking your GPU. Now that that's out of the way, the first thing you will need to do is download Polaris BIOS editor. I will leave a link in the description to download this piece of software. Once you have downloaded Polaris BIOS editor, you will need to get the VBIOS for your GPU that you wish to modify. You can either, one, download it from HiveOS by first stop the miner, going to the overclocking tab, click on download VBIOS, and choosing the GPU you wish to download the VBIOS from. The other option is going to type power up and searching for your exact GPU VBIOS. Make sure when getting a VBIOS from Tech Power Up that you always check and see if it supports the memory timings for your memory type. If you flash a VBIOS with Hynix and Alpita timings onto a Samsung card, you will brick your GPU. Once you have found and downloaded a compatible VBIOS, you will want to open that up inside of Polaris BIOS Editor. Once you load the VBIOS, you will see options to modify core clock and core voltages, but all we will be focusing on here is modifying the memory straps. To do this, it's very simple. All you have to do is click the one click timings patch and hit apply to the next couple options. Then save the VBIOS. You may wish to rename this to modded VBIOS so you know it's been modified. And then go back to HiveOS where we will flash the GPU with the new VBIOS. Of course, before we flash the GPU, make sure that you do not have any miners running in the background to make sure that everything goes smoothly. To flash the VBIOS, again, you're going to go to the overclocking tab, select flash VBIOS, select the file that we just modified, select the GPU that you wish to modify, and here again, it'll tell you what kind of memory it has. So make sure, of course, you have the correct memory timings, and then select upload. This may take about 30 seconds to apply. Once the GPU has been flashed successfully, you will see a little notification pop up, and then you can restart your system, and the new GPU VBIOS will be applied. If you ever want to flash back to your old VBIOS, you follow the same process. You will need your stock GPU VBIOS. You go to the flash VBIOS, selecting the file, selecting the GPU, select upload. Once it's successfully flashed, you restart the system and you're good to go. If this video was helpful, consider leaving it a like. If you have any questions or comments, comment them down below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.